Scarborough Courier. Thank you, Madam Speaker. It's been an interesting uh, week discussing this piece of legislation in the House, and uh, I will say uh, one thing really positive is that uh, I've heard a lot of good commentary about the dairy industry this week, and uh, it was really invigorating in the House here the other night with the debate. I am just a little bit uh, bemused with the uh, whole conversation around urgency. Uh, yesterday, when the committee stage, uh, 13 government speeches and two closure motions later finally got through the committee stage, so the sense of urgency all of a sudden started to go uh, on and on and on. So a lot has been said during the course of this week. But I think there's one thing that I'm really keen to find out around this uh, piece of legislation. I know we're making a timing change here, but I'm really concerned that the terms of reference become clear as soon as possible. I am uh, rather confused. There's already been a review done. This is a completely commercial a uh, piece of legislation, the Dairy Industry Restructuring Act, it was based around uh, commercial realities and competition. And the question has been asked around what else is going to go into the terms of reference, because I know that uh, dairy farmers made a commitment to this piece of legislation, which was around some terms of commercial reality, which they feel that they've met. So, I would ask that as soon as possible we get a fair terms of reference. I would also uh, suggest that the 105 submitters that uh, came in and uh, put submissions into the last review that was done only two years ago are probably going to be the same set of submitters. And it seems to me a long-winded process to do this with some information that is already available, so I will ask this government to be upfront uh, with the industry, lay it out as soon as possible, and please let's not drag this on so that the dairy farmers of New Zealand can get on with it. Thank you, Madam Speaker.